What's up guys and welcome to another video on the wire tuck project that I'm working on here on the GS300. As you guys remember, if you've seen the first video I did, I pretty much was disassembling as much as I can to gain access to do the wiring and, and make it a little bit easier and to see where I want to run the wires. In this section, I kind of started pretty much mapping out how I want to run the wiring. And that's kind of what I'm working on today. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm doing. Before I get into that, some of this wiring here, and I know probably you guys can't tell because now, you know, I removed the loom and everything, but some of this wiring that goes along the uh, valve cover uh, pretty much runs underneath and goes to all the plugs that run on this side passenger rail. Some of that stuff now I'm going to be backtracking and running it around and looping it around the motor um, so that it meets um, somewhere back there in the firewall. Well, there's some things that I shouldn't really run as a whole because they're already in this area. So such as the alternator and the water pump, as well as the mass airflow sensor for my intake that will be here. So those are the wires that I'm going to be leaving alone, leaving them here so that I can go ahead and plug one, two, three, and it's easy. It's nice and snugged on the motor. Um, and you know, so I'll leave that alone. But as far as the other wiring as is concerned, these wires are the ones that I'm going to have to go ahead and extend. Um, like I said, they're the ones that go to the O2 sensors and some of the plugs that go to the throttle body. So that is why I'm going to have to backtrack and run it along this side of the motor to the back and then meet in some type of junction around this area. That's kind of what my thoughts are on that. This, what I have going on, this is probably the most difficult part that I know I'm going to be running into. I've been kind of just grouping them together for instance these are the plugs that go for the relay box for the the fan the motor fans as well as the ac so these i'm leaving these here for now not sure what i'm doing yet i group these together because these are all the plugs that i'm going to be running to the front of the car and these are for the igniter the ecu and some of them junction together so i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do with this big chunk here which obviously it runs as well to this junction area and to the back as well as uh, along the valve cover so my idea was try to push this back on the on the firewall area there and try to kind of clean it up there when i got to this area um two things that i'm running into the wiring that runs back here, there is wiring that still continues down below into the uh, transmission tunnel area there. I don't have access to that right now. So I'm leaving that alone for now until I figure out what I'm gonna do with that later on. If it's something where you know, once I have the vehicle on jack sands, um, but I'm trying to just only cover what's inside the engine bay. Um, and then also the other difficult part is this grommet that goes inside the car. What am I going to do with that? I have no idea as of yet. Is it something where I might have to take out the dash? Maybe. And I will worry about that when the time comes. Um, but for now, it's all about this area extending these wires to this area so i can complete the passenger side for now and also if you guys remember oh if you guys haven't seen this yet um this is obviously the computer for the car this is the figs engineering um three foot extension harness so i haven't messed with that yet other than just plugged it up there but if you guys remember this section of the engine harness I was working on pretty much getting it ready to run in the inside of the dash and I kind of have it already prepped and ready to go the only thing is the plugs now I have to also extend 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing that yet. That's kind of where I'm at right now with that one. So I think that's kind of like one of the easiest parts as of right now. Um, and then go from there. All right, guys, let me get to work. So I'm wrapping up this video and I'll show you basically everything that I worked on. Here's an overview of how it looks as of right now. I start off with the passenger side and I work my way um, explaining to you guys what's going on with this and what is to come for the next video. So let me just pull up this valve cover, kind of show you guys. All right, so starting with the passenger side, um, while I've been working on the wiring, I also have been working uh, with trying to eliminate some of the coolant. Plugged up the heater core, so I plugged those up using the HPS uh, cooling caps. These are a 5 8 uh, 16 millimeter um, caps for those who wanna bypass the heater core. Um, also, as you guys can see, the hard pipe that goes to the heater core also has the one that goes to the throttle body i'm also going to be putting a cap on that so once i get the actual um, new hoses for this to the one that goes up here on the motor so that's how that i'm going to route that on this side of where the throttle body uh cooling hose goes all the way here in the bottom i'm gonna cap that all right back to the wiring as you can see here all this uh wiring that's going on what i ended up doing is pretty much disconnecting all the plugs as far as the injectors um the coils um, removing it getting everything loose so i know how to wire the harness now as you can see i just started now with the wiring that i know that i'm going to be running on this side which is for the mass airflow sensor, the water pump, and the alternator. So those are the three plugs that I'm gonna be running along the front of the motor. Everything else that went around this side originally is gonna be routed to the back. So what I did was I wanted to make sure because the wires are all in one body, right? So what I had to do was one by one, each plug deep pin, loosen it for remove it from all this mess so i can separate it from here and then get it so it's easier to go ahead and run same thing with on the other side here some of this wiring here also goes to the the back of the motor i'm gonna be leaving that alone for now once i put the car on jack stands i'll look more into trying to see what i'm gonna do with tucking that or wiring that so all the wiring, uh, all the plugs that went this way, how I put it all the way in the back, and then I ran it like this. On the next video, 
I'll be dealing with these plugs. Uh, but the main goal is basically to try to one by one each plug, put it to where it's supposed to be in this position. So I know the lengths of each one, but the main goal is basically all this wiring, little by little, is gonna start routing either from this original area where it runs down the throttle body and then across the motor and then in this area now. So it'll loop in here somewhere this way or behind this AC line down this way. And then the end goal is to run it everything through this existing ramen that used to be here. I also separated the wiring that goes from this area on the driver's side to all the ones that run to the front of the car. I'm gonna worry about that later on. Like I said, just one by one, one connector at a time, one terminal at a time, and little by little, it'll, it'll, it'll start to flow. I know it just looks like a huge mess right now, but pretty much know where everything goes. Um, like I said, I, I pretty much labeled everything as you can see. So it's kind of, it's easy for me. I know where they're all connected to. I haven't spliced or cut anything other than um, removing the, the whole ABS track and VSC system, which is on the other harness. So I, I removed that. And then I have some wiring I'm gonna be removing as well. Daytime running lights system. I don't use daytime running lights. Uh, the whole washer jar pumps um, and wiper motors. As you can see, I don't have any wiper motors or anything, so I'm not using that. Um, so these these that I have here in this area are some of the wiring that I'm actually gonna be uh, removing. So I'll be working on that, like I said, in, in another section. But main focus now and probably for the next maybe another two videos or so is working on the main engine harness here and trying to route it to get to this area stay tuned um, i'm pretty excited the way it's going like i said i'm learning as i go and it's it's pretty cool the way it is like the seeing the progress so um, hope you guys are enjoying this and um if you guys have any questions let me know all right and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace